Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is Kintry Islands, and if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do Let's Plays, tutorials, tips, tricks on City Skylines. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Subscriptions are free, and you'll get notified if you want by pressing notifications every time I put out a video. So the last time we left off, we put in trains, passenger trains to be exact, and um, we did four of them. So we did get in quite a bit. But in today's episode, we're going to start preparing the land on this small little island tucked back over in here. It's not really an island, but it's a jet from the bigger land behind it and uh, we're gonna terraform this down and start preparing for a fishing village so uh, this is gonna be part one of two because it did take me a while and the residents here are only gonna get here by train so it comes out looking like a model train display it's quite interesting but I really like it so I hope you do too and let's go ahead and get into it So the first thing I had to do was a lot of terraforming. I had to bring this down to a reasonable height if it's going to be a fishing village because it had to be closer to the water. So I did do a tremendous amount of terraforming. Next, I had to go in and fix all these train tracks. When you terraform, it doesn't remove the land underneath. So that's just what I did. I went in and just cut it all back and fixed it all in. So next to do a little bit more terraforming, I wanted this to sit a little bit higher up than the rest of the land. So I terraformed it up and just made it into like two platforms. So because this was an island, I thought I would kind of make it into my own little island by adding a stream that goes right across uh, where the ridge is. And that's exactly what I did.
So next, because I have the stream, I had to create two little bridges. And then because of the height difference on this kind of ridge, I had to make some winding roads going up to it. So this way they weren't too steep. So next I'm going to think about what kind of train stations I want to put in here. So I have to delete this rail back so I can figure out exactly how I'm going to fit this in. So I ended up using the crossover train station. I just like the look of it. And here I thought was a good place for it. I could have some intercities coming into here and then have it running to the glass box so they can exchange to go other places. So yeah, I used the glass box here and then I also added some cargo because we definitely are now on an island and our residents are going to need, you know, supplies and stuff. So they're definitely going to need that cargo. So when we get up to the cargo station, I do something a little different and I'll explain when we get up to it. But um, yeah, I was starting to look at this and I'm telling you with the stream and the different heights of the elevation, it really was starting to look very good to me. I really liked it. And the more I did it, the more it looked like when you go to model train displays. And it just was so interesting to me.
So here I go ahead and put the cargo station across from our passenger train and I didn't like the way it kind of got lost in the background there and that's when I decided to elevate this as well because we had this right on the edge of the map uh, feeling I didn't like that so I brought out the elevation from the height that's right on the edge of the map and just bringing it in just a little bit and up a little bit it kind of gave it its own platform so here's where that model train display kind of comes in So here you can see once I place it just by elevating that up it just gives it such a better dimension to look at when you see it I just I love the different heights in the elevation and you can definitely see um, it gives it more interest it just it looks so much better with the different heights So for right now I just give them some fire police and a little plaza and I just do a little bit of detailing. So that's going to conclude part one of uh, two parts to our fishing village and I really hope you enjoyed this. I really got creative with it. I really tried to put a lot of time and energy into the look of this. I really wanted it to be something special and the trains uh, episode really inspired me to kind of really push the envelope a little bit with this. So if you really liked it, enjoyed it, Please subscribe, like, comment, share, put on that notification so you'll get part two. And I hope uh, I see you next time. So I'm going to let this uh, just go over the little details like this and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>